Hello everyone, I'm Andy Weston from the MPI Field Follow Team in Lafayette, Indiana. Today we're going to demonstrate the removal and installation procedure for the fuel injector on 3500 Tier 4 Final, DGB, and some C-175 CRC fuel systems. Before working on the high pressure fuel system, make sure the rail pressure is fully relieved. It can remain at high pressure for hours or even days. There is a procedure to do this in the operation and maintenance manual. To do it, find the last accumulator in the line and loosen the plug in the accumulator by one full turn and no more. After the end plug is loosened by one full turn, wait 30 seconds. Then tighten the plug back up to the torque in the service publication. Check in CAT electronic technician that the rail pressure is relieved. Now that the rail pressure is relieved, we can get started. First, make sure that you clean any dirt off the area with compressed air. Cleanliness is key. If the accumulator lines are to be reused on the cylinder being serviced, mark the ends so they can be reinstalled in the same orientation. Remove the clamps on the two high pressure lines connected to the accumulator and slightly loosen the clamp brackets to allow adjustment later when reinstalling the lines. The high pressure jumper lines can now be removed. Inspect the O-rings for damage and replace as necessary. Install contamination control caps on the line ends and the two accumulator ports. The accumulator can now be removed from the cylinder heads. First, mark the accumulator studs to make sure they don't rotate when loosening accumulator stud nuts. Evenly loosen and remove the two accumulator clamp mount nuts and spherical washers. Carefully remove the accumulator. If a pry bar is used, make sure only to push against the cylinder head side of the accumulator clamp. Inspect the accumulator o-ring for damage and replace as needed. Install a contamination control cap on the accumulator tip. Inspect the outer rim of the accumulator bore for rust or debris. If necessary, lightly clean the area with Scotch-Brite and use a new lint-free cloth moistened with brake fluid to remove the debris. Install a contamination control cap in the accumulator bore. The injector can now be removed. First remove the valve cover and disconnect the wire harness at the injector. Remove the injector hold down bolt. Use a pry bar under the injector clamp to gently remove the injector. If necessary, remove valve mech to remove injector. Inspect the injector o-ring for damage and replace as necessary. Install a contamination control cap on the injector tip and inlet. 
If needed, use a vacuum hand pump to remove residual fuel from the injector bore and clean the bottom of the injector bore using the procedure specified in SIS web. Install a contamination control plug in the injector bore. If a new injector is to be installed, record the injector serial number to program the e-trim file into the engine control module prior to running the engine.